Hey guys, it's Sora here. Welcome to another First Impressions video. Today we're going to be looking at the Elder Scrolls Online. Elder Scrolls Online is an MMORPG developed by ZeniMax Online Studios and published by Bethesda Softworks. This game actually came out all the way back in 2014 and it's still going pretty strong and is available on all platforms like PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PC, and even on Mac. So as soon as I started the game, we're actually in the character creation screen um i guess we have to actually make a character oh and that is the champion gear so it kind of gives you a preview of what your character is going to look like do i have to censor this if i hit no gear no now it seems like there's three alliances uh daggerfall covenant alt mary dominion and ebon heart pact wow these names though so dark elf actually looks more like a like an alien than a dark elf but uh, the khajiit it's like a cougar looking thing <laughs> or like a lion looking thing and this is a red guard is he is this guy a little bit bigger than the humans no he's the same size oh orc we cannot have an mmorpg without an orc high elf this is the wood elf. These these guys are a little bit smaller. I guess they're like the uh, the hobbits kind of thing. The Nord must be the giants. Argonian. Oh my gosh, it's like a lizard reptile looking dude. These guys are just the uh, humans. So I like that. We have to come up with a name. We'll go with Koo Kid. Why not? And for class, we have Dragon Knight, Sorcerer, Nightblade, Templar, and Warden. So I, I guess the Warden is like the Druid, Templar is like the tank, Sorcerer is like the Wizards or the Mage, Nightblade is like the Thief, and Dragon Knight or Dragon Knight being the Warrior. Um. I guess we'll go with the Dragonite. Dragonite actually sounds the coolest. And in terms of customization, oh my goodness, kind of a we kind of a fat guy, we kind of a really skinny guy, we kind of a super muscular guy. I think I'm gonna try to make Jon Snow if I can. Wow, the character customization in this game, I have to say, is very, very, very in-depth. Literally, I can spend an hour trying to create the perfect char character that I want to create. Alright, so I literally have zero knowledge about Elder Scrolls, the franchise. I've never played an Elder Scroll game ever. Oh my gosh, we're, we're traveling to a place called Wardenfell. That's so close to Winterfell. So this was a letter from our friend, who is not named, but it seems like we are going to the land of Dark Elves. Voice acting, awesome. Oh, it seems like we're getting- oh! Well, that went from 0 to 100 real quick. The very first thing that I noticed right off the bat is that this game has beautiful music. Oh, it's Vardenfell, not Wardenfell. So they're using this intro part as uh, as, a, as like a tutorial where you can learn how to fight and stuff. But I gotta say the voice acting is top notch. Oh my gosh, we're beating her head down. This feels awesome. Okay, so I'm guess I'm guessing this game's like first person. So we can fight with our hands. How do we open up our inventory? There we go. Okay, broken complete one. Obtain the key, obtain slaver gear, optional steps, spar with Naryu. So I gotta get the key. Oh wow, look at the environment. It's such a good looking game. I can't believe this game came out in 2014. So I thought this game was like first person because when we first started it was first person but I finally found a way to change that, change the view from first person to third person. Wow, this is actually awesome. Okay, we just leveled up. That was pretty cool. Um, okay. 
Oh, our character's cheering. That's awesome. We get to put stats somewhere. Oh, you have attribute points to spend. Use these to increase your health, magicka, and stamina. So I guess magicka is like the mana. Oh, can I equip this sword? Oh, that's another player. Okay, it seems like there's some uh, equipment and stuff here. So there's like other weapons and stuff. So there's an axe, a sword, battle axe, battle axe, dagger. Can I take another sword? I wonder if it's possible to equip two items. Oh, you can actually dual wield in this game. Wow, the attack speed for greatsword is actually pretty fast. All right, we'll, we'll go with the dual wield for now and see how it pans out. Oh, we have to sneak. What is this? Oh, we just killed someone. So we got the gate key. It says I have to s obtain slaver gear still. So there must be something I missed. And the cool thing is it kind of shows you where to go. Like at the at the at the buildings that we need to go through, there's this like icon. Oh, so we can block. Oh, and we can do big attacks too. Oh my gosh, the combat in this game is actually a lot more in-depth than I expected. And it actually tells you up at the top which way I need to go. So that is very useful. Uh, Naryu turns out to be an assassin. That's pretty cool. So we agreed to help her destroy the slaver's ship and kill their captain. Oh, you can see their AoEs. So we have to go to the docks and we have to make a fire bomb kind of thing with some salt. I love, I am actually loving the questing in this game. So there's the fire salt. Let's go. Oh, that's not you. When did you get here? There we go. The usual keybind that I use is actually not gonna work right now. I actually have to study on how I'm gonna make the keybind. Because the keybinds that I usually use are actually taken by certain functions. There are certain books and pages that you can just kind of randomly read. And it kind of gives you the background of the area you're in or the story a little bit. Okay, so this governor doesn't want any official records of me speaking to her. That's fishy. Alright, so we leveled again. Level 3. Alright, so we're on another quest. We have to talk to someone named Canon Velasa. I swear the names in this game can get crazy. Oh my goodness. The voice acting in this game is just incredible. I wonder if this is another player. This is another player. Oh, that's a cool ability. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh, using using skills is so much better. So much faster. I wonder if I'm actually going the right way. Oh no, I died! Oh my gosh! Alright, you. You little bugger. You think you can get the best of me? Get out of here. Oh, <laughs> I am loving the combat. You know what? It feels a little bit weird. Because there's no... There's like minimal UI. Like once you get into combat, then you see your skill bar and stuff like that. Or the hot bar. So we get to ask this ghosty figure. Uh, her name is Farina Andrano. Again, the names in this game. Okay, well, 
that conversation I don't know what to what I don't know what to think of it to be honest she didn't really answer many questions it was like she answered my questions with another question if that makes sense oh you know what we should have named our character Jon Snow or try to at least instead of going with cool kid oh that's a fail what the ancestor told us was so confusing it's it's even one of the options did you understand what your ancestor told us just between us Understood neither the questions asked nor the See? <laughs> Even this guy didn't get it. Well, that was epic. So now we have to go to Vivek City. But before we go to Vivek City, there's some quests that we need to finish. This world and this zone. Oh my gosh. Is that a mob? That is not a mob. That's something that like, you ride that or something. Can I attack it? No, it just goes right through. Oh my goodness, that is massive! <laughs> Damn! But look how nice the zones look. It looks so nice. Now, I heard uh, Skyrim, which is the most recent Elder Scrolls game. The remaster version looks pretty damn beautiful. So I guess Elder Scrolls in general just have a very very nice environment. I love how there is a dodge ability and a like blocking mechanic. That just makes the combat so much more in depth and fun. It feels more realistic. Oh now I'm torn. I'm actually falling in love with this game. But I really want to start playing World of Warcraft. I don't know what to do. Guys, help me. The dual wielding sounds so much more fun to play. I mean, like, there's a critical charge, cleave. Guys, we should be a Jon Snow that wields two, hand, two, two weapons, because it's so much better. Like, Whirlwind sounds so cool to use. Oh, what is that? You can talk, you can take it. Okay, you can take its gut. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry, I did not mean to kill your son. Oh, this ability is so cool. Oh, no wonder why we need a lot of stamina. Most of our main skills actually use stamina as a resource instead of mana. Okay, there's a river troll. Sup, buddy? Okay, there we go. What the hell? This guy takes like zero damage. Or I do like minimal damage. Oh man. Dual. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this guy is tough. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, what the heck? Oh, we got him! Oh, there's something else attacking us too! Am I in a higher zone? Like, am I in a zone where I shouldn't be in? Where is this? Oh, it's right here! So we did go further than what we needed to. This is a very dark zone, but yet it looks so nice with these, like, glittering things. I don't, I don't know what they are, but... They're like glowing. They're like glowing plants or stones or something. I love how we can use our number 3 ability and move at the same time. Well, I guess this is action combat, so... It just kind of makes sense for that to happen. But, oh my goodness, look how beautiful this place looks! Alright, so we got one of the two things. Now we have to go this way to find the toxin. I wonder if we fall into the lava, we'll take damage. Oh yes, yeah, 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 oh yeah, we take damage. Oh, we take a lot of damage. Oh, how do we get out? I shouldn't have done that. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> so it seems like when we revive, we turn into a ghost for a while. So, so the mobs can't hit us or take any damage. That's actually very useful. 
I love how you can't just one shot these guys, and that's a big boss. That's Zuvius the Hive Lord. Good thing he doesn't have any like little minions following him around. Oh, he's confused. Oh. Thank you, my friend. How do we get out of here? This is such a complicated zone. Okay, so now we have to go talk to this Hallinger guy. So this guy is making drugs. Not cool. Okay, so this guy, he he's trying to tell me that he's not growing drugs. Or like, he's not making drugs for mass... Uh, production or for like a like a mass distribution but it seems like I get a couple of choices here so I can say he's trying to tell me he's trying to convince me not to tell him on the authorities so I can lie and be like you know I'm not gonna inform you or like I won't inform the authorities or I can actually make a promise to not tell the authorities. Moon sugar is a beautiful thing, my friend. The riddle, the riddle Thar's give to all Khajiit. Is the pursuit of pleasure really so bad? So this guy's like telling me he's making these, like these drugs for personal use. But obviously that's not the way to go. That is a bad, bad, bad thing. So I think I'm gonna go, I'm gonna lie and tell on the authorities. I think that's the right thing to do here. So we're getting 85 gold and sugar hemp sash. This is actually a little bit worse than what I'm using right now. Oh, but it increases experience gained from kills by 8%. Okay, well, that's pretty cool. Now we have to enter Vivek's palace. So I'm guessing this is the cash shop the crown store it says I have 500 crowns I'm guessing um what do we have here so we have some holiday heritage maple starter pack what's in this utility pack of consumables such as potions foods some XP scrolls to help you level faster mounts yay there's camels Wolves, lion, bears, horses, white mana horse, and if we go into special, we get to see some super crazy mounts. Non-combat pets. Wow. So it doesn't seem like there's any pay to win elements except for like maybe you level a little bit faster. I think I'm gonna leave it off there. Had a couple of hours of gameplay, and so far, I have to say, this was an amazing, amazing experience. So here's some of my thoughts on the game. First of all, I think this will satisfy a lot of players out there because you have the option of going third person mode or first person mode. So it's it's actually really great for anyone who wants that kind of freedom. And it's action combat, so it is more modern than uh, say World of Warcraft or Final Fantasy XIV because they are traditional tap targeting system for the combat. And also the environment in ESO looks beautiful as well. Everything is just so polished. The water, the movement, the weather, when there's rain, when there's darkness, when we went into the cave, it just everything felt so nice and so well polished. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, a big thumbs up would be very appreciated. And if you guys are new and you guys enjoyed today's video, please do subscribe for more first impressions video like this one. And please let me know your thoughts on ESO in the comment section below. Anyways, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one really, really soon.